friends, how you doing? Happy Friday. The weather is beautiful, isn't it, today? Um, sorry that I couldn't do my Facebook Live on Wednesday. Um, like I said, I had a delivery of a 12-foot pole. It's a bit crazy, a paddling pole. It took absolutely ages to fill up and it was freezing cold. I didn't get in myself. I was actually too busy being the lifeguard that day. Hello, Mr. Wolf is my brother. Hope you're doing good. Today, what we're going to be doing is um, I'm going to be working with a couple of Amala stamps. Obviously, that's my own uh, brand with my craft sister, Tony Derrick. And I just want to show you, even though the stamps they appear to be been and gone. Hi Tracy. Um, there's still so much you can do with them. Obviously you can, can join them together, you can stamp over the top of each other. Beautiful. Hi Tracy. Hi Sylvia. Hope you're doing really well today. Isn't it beautiful outside? I'm so sorry. I'm full of hay fever, so I'm a bit croaky as well. Plus also, oh love you too my beautiful wolf. Um, also, I've had a twitch in my eye for three days. It's driving me a little bit mental, but it'll be fine, it'll go, I know. Um, right, shall we get started? We are going to be doing the Imala kitten card today. Hello Marion, hope you're doing well. So, first things first, I'm going to turn you around so you can see exactly what I'm doing. Hi Kieran, fabulous news, I'm so proud of you. Kieran's a young fella that I used to teach many years ago. Marion sending me love hearts, you sweetheart. Right, okay, so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna stamp my kitten stamp. Now this is the Amala stamp, so just before I start off, what I'm gonna do is just add a little bit of a personal ink, okay? I've gone for the jet black, and you'll see what I'm up to. Here we go, let's turn you around. There we go, hopefully you can see, and I'm just gonna go down with that kitten now this actual piece of card that i'm stamping on is five by five inches so let's see how that's come out absolutely beautiful adorable stamp it's wonderful but i want more color so i'm just this is the beauty of the eureka i'm just going to apply another layer of ink Now, this is one of the uh, stamps that sold out so quick, super, super quick. They are still available on the Stamps By Me website, so pop along there, have a look. They've actually got a little cute sale going on, so have a look. So I'm just going to press that down. Yes, much, much better. So I'm going to take this away, and um, for this card, you do actually need to stamp it twice, but you don't need to see me stamp it twice. So this is the next one that I've stamped. So I've double stamped and then I just cut round without all the fur detail. And we're going to be over layering that on the top. But first of all, let's get some colour in this beautiful little kitten. I'm using the Hemi Pencil Collection. One of my absolute favourites. And then we're going to put these are water soluble as well. And of course, look at the array of colours. Ooh, it's so good. So... I'm going to go in first of all with like a, a chocolate brown, uh, a little tiny tad of yellow but not a lot, a little bit of gold and then I'm just going to go for a darker brown as well. So let's start. I'm going to start off with this yellow tone first of all and we're just going to add a little bit of colour just under the cheeks there. Really simple, a little bit just near the mouth. Just a fat lemon. Well oh, it's not lemon, it's a yellow. And a little bit on the top of the eyelids. So this will give us some of our tonal work. Now remember because you're doing two, you will need to do your next layer too. So a little bit on the chin, a little bit under the eyes. Right, okay, so now I'm going to go for the lighter brown. And what we're going to be doing is I'm actually going to be doing, just taking the detail we have already and I'm exaggerating it. So all of these beautiful uh, fur lines, the whisker lines, 
just going right in over the top. So I'm just over exaggerating that fur. in now, do the next layer, come back in, do another layer, peel over that yellow, sorry if I veered off a bit, a bit more up here, right now we're going to go in with the dark, I'm going to really, now what the, the technique I think with this, especially when it's a really furry cat, it's just lots and lots of lines that will colour and you'll achieve a much better faux fur, if you like. Now with the paws and coming down with the dark. These are water soluble pencils, so I'm actually going to add my wet brush to this in a second. So let's put that one to the side. Come back to this one. Again, haven't I? Why do I keep moving along today? I don't know. Now, the Hemi pencils are available at Create and Craft or they are available on Tony Garrett's website as well. So now I'm coming back with the gold over the top. in here now so I can just bring this out nicely so I'm going to take a uh, it's probably a quarter inch um, oh no I'd say half inch actually half inch um, chisel brush and I'm going to go in on a little bit of brown I've got some browns mixed up in here as well so all I'm going to do is just Follow the watercolour. great way if you want to add more colour for more detail maybe is you could use a Hemi crayon straight from you can just add that little bit more detail ah talking to cats here comes Doris hi Doris I'm just blending that Hemi crayon around. Hello, sweetheart. Oh. See how we push that colour around. But of course, 
suppose you could easily design this to any um, sort of style of kitten you wanted, really, couldn't you? Very, very simple. So I'm just going to pick up with a little bit of water now, some more of that brown himmy. It has got a little touch of pink in. I'm just going to pull that across there. On the other side of the ear. There we go. And I'll just pull a little bit more. in now with my pencil just to add a bit more detail work. Oh yeah, I'm happy with. Right, so let's move on to this one. Again, wet brush. Now this one, I'm going to go a bit crazy. I'm going to go off the picture. Now remember, because we are um, decoupaging this stamp, it's okay because this is almost going to be like the halo that's left behind. So see how you can just really push that colour and exaggerate that colour away. I'm just going to pick up a bit of brown and I'm just going to um, exaggerate that colour. A little bit more, out it goes. set that quickly. Oh, it helps if your plug's turned on. dries completely I'm just going to pick up this sort of browny orange colour and then mix it with some more brown so it's a bit wish washy and I'm just going to add a bit of colour to that edge if I dried that you wouldn't have got that colour detail in there Corduroy. I'm just going to pick this up working on my mat and I'm just going to sweep it around. flicker of water using my fan brush just over that edge that I've just added in because then what that will do is it will mix with the watercolour with the hemi crayons 
and the ink that we've applied as well just give us that little vintage dotty background again heat set it The one, the second layer that I've cut, I'm going to put over the top. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pick that ear up and then I'm going to manipulate it so it becomes much more 3D. So you bend it back and then you just squeeze it, bringing it that bit more forward. Now, all of these individual whiskers I have actually cut through, so because of that, I can pick up. And if you do one going one way, one going the other, it's very easy to make it look really 3D. And again, around and up. There we go. So then that will sit beautifully just on there. Right. Scissors. So I'll just stick that foam foam pad now on the reverse of that just to lift that up slightly. And there we go. It'll be a great Father's Day card actually. Right. So now what we're gonna do, so I'm just having a tiny tidy up and we are gonna start sticking our card together right okay so what I've got on here is a white base card and I've got some beautiful decorative paper six by six cards white card then a five and three quarter mat to go on that perfect then we are going to place let me see we're going to place this on here then I was thinking about, oh, see, I've changed my mind, haven't I? This is what happens to me. I change my mind as I go along. Oh, yeah, look, that's where it needs to be. So I'm going to stick this uh, just slightly off on a skewer angle. But obviously making sure that it stays within the card boundaries. Hold that down. I'm using book binding glue. Just because it's quick to a deer, does what it says on the tin. <laughs> um, pin flare is a great one, and so is trunk gunk. I think I just prefer to use these because you get no bubbling, you get um, no seepage, it just works. So, my next layer is going to come under down the side can you see that just like so so I'm just going to pop this together so this is a uh, piece of white cardstock that I've embossed then I've used a piece of that decorative paper on the reverse to go on there too right next we are going to add this to here but before we do that I'm going to wrap some string around it's flat or you can get a big bump making sure you can't see any of that reverse on there, like so. I've also got a little um, flag that I've made here, so I'm just going to stick a little bit and then have that offset at the back, try and split them apart slightly. Then I've got a 
delightful bow that I'm just going to place up here in this corner. And a tiny little flag making the corresponding paper in the background. Perfect. Then I've got some sentiments. Now these are from Tim Holtz. Now these are beautiful. These are just stickers which are fabulous because what you can do is you can anchor things together with them perfectly. Some people say to me, well I only like one sentiment. That's fine if that's what you like. But I quite like a few together because it just anchors that flow. Can you see that? So now this one's going to go here. Like so. So let's have a look. Hiya, how is everyone? There we go. The kitten cart. Oh, look at me, bow falls off. Honestly. <clears throat> Never mind. <laughs> So there we go, my friends, the 3D Imala Stamped Kitten. Hope you enjoyed that. Now, the next one I'm going to be doing today is a little bit different. I've been having a play, having a think of what kind of things I think you would like to see. Okay, that's it. Thank you. Thank you, Jackie. Thank you. I know, the kitten's so cute. Okay, so the next project I'm going to be doing is a beauty. I am going to be using this absolutely gorgeous flourish. You probably can't see it. There we go, the flourish. Simply stunning. It's another Marla classic, which is beautiful. And what we're going to be doing is I'm going to be doing some colouring work as well. I'm going to be using the uh, gossip markers but obviously you could use whatever you prefer but first of all I want to show you how I'm going to stamp this okay so I'm going to grab my Eureka you will need um, just over sort of A5 so sort of half an A4 if you like and a circle die cut it's all you will need to begin with so I'm just going to take this kitten stamp off and place that beautiful flourish stamp on. It's gorgeous, look at the size of that. It's fab, isn't it? All that detail you are getting. Love, love, love. So this is the stamp we are going to be using today. We're going to go straight in the centre. Let me turn you around so you can see what we're doing. There we go. Straight in the centre. Pick it up with my Eureka. Off I go. So I'm going to be using some black ink on this again, but we are going to be doing some fabulous colouring. So now, when you are stamping these big stamps, I do advise that obviously sometimes it's not as bright and as vibrant your first stamp. Sometimes it needs extra. It depends on so many things. It can be to depend on how hot it is that day, um, the moisture in the air. So there's lots and lots of different variations of why it doesn't stamp properly. Obviously, mine has stamped beautifully, but it's still not rich enough. So I'm going to go back over again with that ink on my stamp. Not moving anything, so it will still fit perfectly. Next, what we're going to do... There we go, that's better. I like that much better is we're going to pick a piece of the stamp and I'm going to take that away and I'm just going to apply the circle. So exactly where that circle is, I'm not moving my stamp. I'm going to go back and stamp on my circle. Now this will be the middle panel. This will up, we're going to raise this up, okay? So what will happen now is we have our beautiful stamp that we've stamped our full stamp and now we're going to use this as an embellishment to build it up. Can you see that? We just find exactly where it fits. It fits there. There we go. 
so you could barely see where the circle starts but then when we put foam pads on that it's gonna look pow okay so now we're gonna start coloring now obviously I only do a Facebook live for like half an hour so I've started doing colouring already. I've been using my gossip markers, really simple, just multiple different layers of colouring. You know, it depends what you prefer to do really but I'm also going to do some ink work over the top of this. So I'm going to come back in with my colours now. Uh, let's have a look. I want the teal and the light green. This is... Power Sweet Light and oh, I should put my glasses on, turquoise blue. Okay, so let's have a look. I've done most of the colouring on the main, so now I'm just going to go back in. Now, with all Imala stamps, they all have dark lines and areas. These are shading lines. Use them as your guide um, to do your different types of shading you don't have to have ink lily um not ink lily sorry gossip markers you could use ink lily you could use copic markers whatever you prefer but i just i really really enjoy using these i just find them an absolute joy to use so now i'm taking that lighter green going back in going over the whole piece that i've just colored i'm not just going in on the light like so I'm going back in over the whole colour. It just makes it look much richer and it blends much, much better. Okay, beautiful. So let's have a look. So now I've got this bottom piece to do in the pink. Now, when I lay this onto here, this will fit perfectly. Do you see that? Very, very easy. So now we're just going to do a little bit of inking. Did I do that? No, you lost. Where did you go? My ink mat. Aha! <laughs> multiple different inks this time. I'm going to be using blues, I'm going to be using greens, a little bit of pink, a little bit of evergreen. Real mix and match. But I think it will look amazing when it's done. So let me just grab a... Here we go. So I'm going to go with the yellow first. Pick it up. And of course this is an oxide. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take that ink quite close, but not all the way, just a little bit. So I'm picking it up again. Don't worry if you get darker patches. This is just your base layer of colour we're adding in here. Morocco's touch to the table. Super, super easy. Okay, just going to bring that all the way around. Now I'm going to go into my ever 
green bow. This is just like one of my ultimate favorite colors. It's beautiful. going to pick up some of that lipstick. Oh yeah, where should we put this? Let's put a little bit up here. A little bit just around here, not too much, very lightly. And then the more the colour comes out, the harder you press. So, so then we're going to come up to our smaller piece, just the edge, we're not going right into the centre. And what I'm doing, rather than adding more ink to it, I'm just using whatever is left on my ink pad, my dauber shall I say. what I'm going to do is I'm going to take, now this is stamped by me, look at that, it's such a beautiful blended brush, super smooth. So these are great for adding your ink initially, but if you want that smooth finish, then you are going to need a smoother brush. Now I'm going to lean on a piece of paper, I'm just going to pick up any ink that is on this and I'm just going to smooth it round. I'm not adding any ink, I'm just smoothing the ink that we have already on the ink. my fan brush with little taps of water just a little bit just at the edges not too much there we go and a bit on that one as well just to break the colour down slightly Hope you're doing really well. Hope you're enjoying my uh, flourish tutorial. Now I'm not chasing the drips. I'm trying to keep them into their spots that they are. So I'm um, just drawing in circles. my little quarter inch brush, a little bit of pink, make it sort of a bit of like a lipstick pink if you like. There we go, go in there. Just going to do a short little, not too much, just on the layers. Set that. Middle piece on. 
that down onto a piece of flat card. same stamp on there very very simple now to finish off I have got a couple of wee fairies they have indeed so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take this one and make it slightly smaller because I don't need all of that layer but these are the fairies from the Amala collection and I'm just going to add some of these in Really, really simple. So this one's going to sort of sit behind, if you like. But the wings will be sticking out. So let's see. Oh, yeah. Let's do it like that. That's a good one. Like this. And then this one will come down the bottom. So I'm just going to manipulate, <coughs> excuse me, bottom there, and then to finish, I'm just going to spray lightly over with a little bit of stamps by the acrylic gold. Just a little tad. There we go. warm isn't it <clears throat> excuse me so here we go we have got the layered 3d with that circle of stamped as well with the beautiful fairies so this is thank you tracy flourish grown and i know i do try and of course we've got that beautiful multiple layers of inking and stamping of course, the first card that I created today was the kitten as well. I will be posting 3D pictures and, of course, you can catch up on YouTube. Don't forget as well to book your place for next month for Crafty Monkeys. Oh, who fancies that? It's going to be an absolute delight. Three hours of crafting and exclusive to you once you buy your ticket, free with your ticket, a paper kit that you can print at home that we will be making with hope you are really well take care have a fabulous weekend friends and i will see you back here monday for art journal monday and yes it's yellow get ready to get yellow hands see you monday take care friends see you later bye bye